Hello, hello, you guys. Long time no see. I am Sarah Styles, and I am back with another video for you today. I have not filmed and I have not uploaded in months. I used to post a regular video every Monday, and I called it Makeup Mondays, but then I kind of went through a transition in my life. I moved to college. It was my first semester. There was a lot going on in my life. I was living in a dorm, and I just did not really have the time or the energy or the means to keep filming a video every week and editing it on top of school and everything that was going on. But I'm on Christmas break right now and I really wanted to film. I got a new camera, new lighting, new audio. I am hoping that this semester, now that I'm adjusted, that I'll be able to post more. So for today's look, I wanted to come back with a bang. And I wanted to think outside of the box, something that not many people do. And I was like, what's a color I could use that'd be super creative that I never really see people do? And I thought of the color yellow. So I kind of did a yellow cut crease sunset type of look. Look at how dirty my hand is, oh my god. I'm gonna show you how I did my skincare and hair care before I started the video. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope you stick around and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and all my social media, and yeah, peace this thing on oh we're going okay 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 hey guys what's up so first we're gonna start with some skincare fun stuff and I'm moisturizing my face with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel and then I'm using this serum this is by uh, the brand beauty counter and I just kind of wanted to use this to brighten up my skin and give more of a, a base for my makeup then I'm moving on uh, to show you guys what I'm doing for my hair. So I just got out of the shower and I parted my hair and I'm coming through my hair. And I'm going to put in this product. This is kind of a leave-in conditioner, if you will, but it's kind of an argan oil foam. But it also helps to um, kind of set in your hair and keep it together throughout the day. And then I'm just uh, sectioning off my hair and I am giving it a little blow dry. And then I'm going to use a round brush to run through my hair. And this is just so I have a good base for my hair. I'm not trying to really straighten it because I'm going to curl it. But um, I'm just trying to get some nice uh, locked in locks if you will. And then I'm just doing the same thing to the top section, but I'm kind of pulling more up on the hair. And this is just going to give you some good volume. And I like to take my bangs and kind of roll them away from my face and tuck them behind my ears. I'm starting off the makeup by priming my face with the Becca Backlight Primer Filter. That is upside down. There we go! I'm using this to brighten up my face, look nice and glowy. And I'm just taking a little bit and putting it, I'm concentrating it in the highlighting areas, but I'm just kind of putting it all over. And then I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the green color correcting shade. And I've been breaking out a lot, which is so not fair because I've been drinking a lot of water and eating really healthy and I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I still am a victim. And so I'm just color correcting all those little spots and blending it out. I felt like my sponge was a little bit too dry um, when blending all of this out, so I took some MAC Fix Plus and just sprayed my sponge with that and went back over my face completely. Then for foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Ivory, putting it on the back of my hand and dotting it on my face. I've been doing this in small sections recently and just buffing it out with my beauty sponge. Um, I just kind of find it more helpful to spread out the foundation evenly and making sure you get all the coverage you need in one little area, especially bleh, especially when you have problem areas like I do right now. And then I take whatever's left on my hand with my sponge and I blend it down my neck and on my ears. Now I am concealing with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light putting that under my eyes, my chin, forehead, and bridge of my nose. And this concealer is really thick and sometimes I feel like it can dry out my skin just a little bit. So I'm taking this Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer and I'm layering that over the uh, shape tape. And this is just gonna help hydrate my skin a little bit 
um, especially since you kind of have to put powder on the concealer in order for it to set. That really dries out my skin, especially at this time of year. So I'm taking these glow sticks from the brand Beauty Counter. Um, they come in a bronze, a blush, and a highlight. And I'm using the bronze one today to contour my face. If you want to know more about these products, I'll leave a link below. My cousin sells them and she can get you the hookup. But um, I'm doing something different today. I don't usually contour my nose, but I decided to try it out. Since these sticks are such a good formula, I thought it would be easy to blend and look kind of natural. And then I'm blending out that contour with a stippling brush, but then using my finger to blend out my nose contour. I'm gonna lightly powder my face with this Marc Jacobs setting powder. I got this for really cheap at TJ Maxx and I was really excited about it. And then I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer just to kinda add a little warmth to my face to make sure I do not look ghostly. Uh, the blush I'm using is by Tarte. It's in the color Party. And I just went ahead and moisturized my lips so they are not crusty dusty when we start doing the lipstick. For eyebrows, I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Taupe and just running through them really lightly and brushing through them with a little spoolie. And then I went through them with some, uh, what's that called? Clear brow gel. Um, priming my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, blending that out with my beauty sponge and then setting it with the Laura Mercier powder. And I forgot to really set my under eyes earlier, so I just made sure I blended out the concealer and then um, put some powder on there and I also put it on my forehead where I'm breaking out. For eyeshadow I'm using my Morphe 3502 palette which I have been loving recently. I got it right when it came out and I'm obsessed and I'm starting to define my crease with this orange color just intensifying it and blending it out. Then I took a pencil brush with that really really bright red kind of a coral red and really defined my crease with that. And then to define it even further, I mix that orange shade with a more brown shade and just deepen that up a little bit. And starting on the lid, I'm taking that bright red shade again and doing it in the outer corner. Doing it, putting it, whatever. And I'm doing a cut crease, so this is the star of the show. I lightened up my inner corner and created kind of a diagonal line meeting up with that red color. And then I'm taking this yellow from my Wicon palette and I'm just using that to cover the area where I created the cut crease. Now it is time for eyeliner and I love using gel eyeliner with an angled brush. This is my favorite gel eyeliner. It is by Maybelline and I need to get a new one. Mine is really crusty. And I really, really messed up my right eye, but let's just ignore that. Um, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I wanted to kind of challenge myself to see if I could do such a dramatic look without using falsies and I think I did pretty good. And then for the lower lash line I just mixed that kind of burnt orange shade um, and used a pencil brush and lined my lower lash line as I already said and then on top of that I went back in with that yellow color. For highlighter, I am using uh, the ColourPop highlighter in Flexitarian, and I'm just using that for like my nose and my eyes, but then I'm going in with Champagne Pop by Becca and doing the rest of my face. For lips, I am using this NYX Lip Suede. I can't remember what color this is, but I'll put it down below. I'm using the Tarte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Birthday Suit, and just smoothing that out with my fingers. All right, you guys, so I went and curled my hair with a, I think it's like a one and a half inch curling iron. I showed you guys how I prepped my hair after I got out of the shower, and then I just kind of curled it. I alternated curls, and then I used this Argan Oil uh, hairspray. I really like this because it's nice and light. It's not too heavy on my hair, and I can still run my fingers through it. It's not like I have crusty hair, and it doesn't feel like I've just washed my hair and then gotten it dirty again. Or I forgot to do this in the last clip, but I'm finishing off my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. 
So that completes this look for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope you decide to stick around on my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have suggestions for what you want me to do next time, leave it in the comments below. I love you guys and I hope you've had a great day. Bye! If the sun don't shine today, and the rain do pick up in the